Uh, two times. Oh, no, three times. That Casey was here three times, yeah. That you know of. That's right. <clears throat> the Mountain Security Company doesn't even know who Casey Rogers is. And you're telling me that this man was here three times in this house and you took him over to Tony's. Can you explain this, darling? He did it. That's all. What does he look like? Oh, nice looking dude. Dark hair, good build. Mostly I remember his eyes. Yeah. Yeah, he is. Everything's checked out. I am awfully sorry for any mix up, Miss Lavery. We like to feel we take real good care of our customers. But listen, whoever this Rogers guy is, I think maybe you should talk to the police. Thanks a lot. We'll take it from here, okay? Okay, All sorry right. for the trouble. Yeah. Ah, this way, please. Are you sure you never heard of this PC guy? We should say something. Well, I'd like to say something. This guy fits a description of somebody who tried to steal a boat last week from Max Marine. Casey wouldn't steal. So you do know more than you're saying. He wouldn't steal, that's all. Darling, come here, come here, listen to me, listen. You have got to tell me what is going on here. I am very worried. It's not like you to keep something from me. What is the matter? Mom, there's nothing to worry about. Please don't keep saying that. Let's take a little break here, shall we? Hmm? No, I, I really need to talk to you. I her. think you guys have talked enough today. You want to get some ice cream with, uh, old Frisco? At Kelly's? Yeah. Sounds great. Good. Except I'm grounded. Robin, sometimes you have to handle things the way a man would. Can we get some ice cream, please? <laughs> yeah. Let's go before she changes her mind. Chocolate, vanilla, all the chocolate. Olin. Olin. Yes. I want you to tell me all about this man. Everything you can think of. I need to give a description to Robert. I think you're good, so. Yeah. Well, uh, as I said, he had a nice build, nice looking dude, dark hair. I'll be right with you. Man, have a glass of water. Oh, oh, sure. With some ice, please. Oh, okay. Hey, I want some service over here. Oh, just wait your turn. You know, I usually like my customers, but sometimes they're just a plain pain in the neck. Like you're here to do nothing but wait on them. I can get the ice. Oh, yeah. There you go. Excuse me. Thank you. Casey, is that you? Hey, Anna Lambry's looking for you, buddy. Sit down. My chair. It's nice and warm. Oh, is it warm? Yeah, great. So. Okay. What's up? Uh, why well, didn't you have anybody else to talk to? You know, Robert's gone away. And well, you just sit there, relax, and whatever it is, I'll help you. All right. Um, I don't know if you can help. What is it? Robin. Um, she's acting really strangely, and I think it's my fault. Come on. I mean, she's probably just growing up. That's it. Obviously, you don't think that's it, right? No, I don't know. I mean, I know kids change. I know that they become their own person and they hate their parents and all of that. I understand that, but she's not even communicating with me. She's not even talking to me. And she's sort of... she's lying. She's lying to you? Mm-hmm. That doesn't sound like Robin at all. You want some coffee? Uh, yeah. It all started because of that bloody crystal, you know? You mean her, uh, magic rock? She thinks it's magic. And it's evil. 
I mean, you know, to place that much importance in something. You know, Anna, I'm trying to follow you here, but you're not making help. Well, I shouldn't have left her here when I went to Scotland. I should have taken her with me after Duke died. Now, if I were you, I'd uh, lay off of the should part. I just part. should have paid more attention to her. And she wouldn't have, like, piled up with this Casey person. Casey? Who's Casey? She's not in any danger, is she? No. Uh, no, no. Chris goes with her. I... I don't know what she's getting into, really. Well, what makes you think it's necessarily bad, huh? Um, well, I, I don't know. I hope Frisco can maybe get to the bottom of it. I really didn't handle it very well. I, I made everything worse when I went to Windermere. You, know? you mean Robin went out there alone? Yeah. I went out there and I blew my cool. I brought her back here and grounded her. Hey, there's nothing wrong in grounding her. Oh, not the way I did it. I, mean, I lost my temper and everything, and it was just... I had something on my mind and... Oh, yeah. It was a cigar. A cigar? Yeah, um... Well, you know, I was out at the house when I was looking for her at Windermere, and, um... There was just this ashtray, and it had this, this thin cigar. Oh, Anna, Anna, look, that's all in the I know, I know that, I know, I know, I didn't even say it, okay? Forget it. I didn't say it, no. This is about Robin, this is about Robin. Right. And... I think that with this crystal, you know, she's, she's just... She's given herself something to fill a void with. And what I need to do is spend all my time with her to help her get over this. And I have to communicate with her. Yes, yes, you do. And I will do anything I can to help. Right. Our well, number one godfather is always ready, willing, and able, okay? Yeah, I know that. You're a good friend, Sean, and... Uh... I'm sorry. Well, sorry about me being a good friend? No, no. Because of, uh, ever doubting me like you did. Well, I'm a little upset about that, too. But, uh, that's also in the past. Let's just deal with the here and now. Huh? Right. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go see how Fritz is going on. Is it all right if I call you later? <laughs> Of course it's all right.